What's up everyone? Today I'll be going over a full breakdown of Xtool, how it works, what it's capable of, and whether it makes sense for the kind of creative work you're doing or thinking about starting. Because if you've been looking for a way to make real physical products from your digital design, stuff like custom signs, personalized gifts, or products to sell on Etsy, Xtool is one of the easiest ways to do it. You're getting machines that are beginner friendly, but still powerful enough to give you professional level results. And what makes it great is that it's not just the hardware, Xtool is a full system, machines, accessories, software, even materials all designed to work together and help you get from idea to finished product without needing a workshop or a bunch of experience. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the system, the machines, and which model might be the best fit for you. Now, what Xtools built isn't just a set of machines. It's a full system designed to support creative work at every level. So if you're just starting out, maybe making custom gifts or trying out a few products to sell, you can begin with a smaller model like the M1. But if your projects get more complex, or you're ready to ramp up the volume, you can upgrade to something more advanced without having to relearn how to use everything. And that's because all of the machines use the same software and most of the accessories like rotary tools work across different models as well. And there's also a materials marketplace and a project hub called Atom where you'll find over 20,000 ready to go templates and tutorials. It's all there to help you move faster, try new ideas and build up your confidence, especially if it's your first time working with this kind of tool. Now let's quickly run down the four main models and what kinds of projects each one is best suited for. So if you are just getting started, the M1 Ultra is the most beginner friendly. It's designed for smaller scale creative work, things like custom ornaments, cutting intricate paper or vinyl designs, or making personalized home decor. It also has a few extra features built in like blade cutting and ink printing, so you can play around with different materials without needing separate machines. Then the S1 steps things up a bit with more laser power and modular parts, so it's a better fit if you're working with thicker wood, dark acrylics, or planning to engrave detailed graphics onto leather or coated metals. It's also fully enclosed and certified safe, which is a huge plus if you're working from home and you don't want to mess with safety gear. Then there's the F1, which is all about portability and speed. It's great if you're customizing products on the road, stuff like metal tags, acrylic, or jewelry, or if you want something small and fast for fulfilling lots of simple orders. And finally, the P2S, and this one is made for an entire production. If you're taking on larger client jobs or need to cut thicker materials like plywood or full sheets of clear acrylic, this will give you that level of volume and precision. Now, one of the best parts about using an X tool is just how much it takes care of it for you. You pop your material in and the built-in camera gives you a live view of the workspace. You can literally drag your design onto the object, line it up exactly where you want it and see how it's going to look before you even hit start. And then it automatically checks thickness of whatever you're using, locks in the right focus, and from there, you're pretty much good to go. No test cuts, no fiddling with measurements. It's all baked into the setup. And if you're working on a batch of items like a run of custom tags or leather patches it'll detect each one automatically and space the design out for you it's fast clean and it just works even the AI tool is actually helpful you type in a quick prompt choose a style and it generates a cut ready vector in seconds the tech is there to help not something you constantly need to wrestle into place and by the way if you do want to try out one of X tools options you can use the affiliate link below it doesn't cost you anything extra and we might earn a small commission which helps out the channel and sometimes we do have special deals that you wouldn't get if you went directly to their website. Now, the overall workflow is pretty straightforward. You just open up Xtool software, either on your laptop or your tablet, and load in a design. You can import files, use their built-in tools, or just type in a text label if you're doing something simple. If you're not sure where to start, there's a whole library of preset designs and materials that you can pull from. Now, once your materials are in the machine, you close the lid, and the live camera feed shows exactly what's inside. You drag your design into place, hit the auto measure button to set the focus, choose whether you want to cut, engrave, or score, and then send the job over. From there, it's just one button on the machine to start. And what's nice is that the safety systems are running the entire time, so you don't have to worry about monitoring every second. So if you are thinking of turning your creative work into a business or even just test the waters, Xtool gives you enough flexibility to try different products and see what sticks. You can start simple, like engraving custom bookmarks or cutting out small name signs, and from there, branch out into higher value items 
like leather goods, wedding decor, or gift boxes once you're comfortable with the entire process. And because the machines handle different materials and sizes, you're not locked into one niche. What's nice is that you can move quickly. Once you run a few jobs and save your settings, you can batch out 10 or 20 pieces in a row without having to reset anything. That's a big deal when you're fulfilling orders or prepping for an event. And if you're working from home, the safety features and air purifier options mean you can run this in a regular room without having to worry about ventilation or special setups. It's a setup that makes it easy to start small and build up as you go. Now, as for pricing, here's what each model typically runs. The M1 Ultra comes in at $999, and for a hybrid machine that handles both laser and blade cutting, plus some extras like pen drawing and printing, it's a really solid starting point if you want to be creative without spending a ton up front. Now, the S1 is $1,699, and that gives you a larger bed size than others, pinpoint positioning, which is 10 times more accurate than a single camera system, and a fully enclosed design that's safe to use in almost any space. It's a good fit for more frequent use or thicker materials. The F1 comes in at $1,099. It's fast, portable, and great for personalization. Small product runs or anywhere you need a quick setup and clean results. And then the P2S, the super high-end model, is $3,699. It's the one you'd want if you're building out a whole production setup or taking on larger orders where speed and size matter. But overall, X tool strength is really just in how approachable it makes this whole thing. Whether you're customizing a few gifts at home, testing products for your shop, or you've got a full creative workflow, it gives you the tools to do it without needing a workshop or years of experience. The machines are capable, the software is friendly, and the support is there when you need it. If you're thinking about picking one up, there's that link down in the description. We usually have some special offers that you wouldn't find on their main site. Also, if you are interested in working with us or sponsoring a future video, just reach out using the email in the description below. So hopefully you found this breakdown helpful, and if you did, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you tried out one of these before, or you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those down below, and I always try to answer as fast as I can. Finally, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.